Hello, welcome back to the C programming. This is another video in which we are going to discuss about the usage of break and continue within a loop. So in this video we have a program to demonstrate the use of uh, break and continue. See, uh, we are starting the program with including the standard header files stdio.h for printing and scanf, printf, scanf functions and conio.h is for clrscr and rcs, the console input output functions. Here in this program, uh, we have one variable that is n integer type. It is declared here and the CLR is here for clearing the screen. Now here we are going to start a do loop. So do loop starting, uh, the loop is getting started here and it is getting, it is getting ended over here. And we are having a condition, exit condition that is given with while, do while loop. Okay, this is the style of using the style of usage of do while loop. Uh, there will be only exit condition for this loop. The do while loop, the exit condition is given n not equal to zero. Then it will continue. So in the loop, do loop, uh, with the very statement, the very first statement which we have given is enter the number. So the user is supposed to enter any number and a number and uh, scan of percentage d comma ampersand n is used to scan the keyboard input and the value given by the user through the keyboard will be stored in the memory location assigned to the variable n and it is of integer type and after reading this value we are going to compare this value if n is less than 0 then break break in the sense stop the program if n is less than 0 that means if it is a negative value if n is greater than 10 that is the second condition in that case print of skip the value and continue skip the value and continue if n is not if n is not greater than 10 and not less than 0 then it will print print of the number is percentage d and uh, comma n that means it will print the value of n here and that's all that is the end of the program let us try this program out control f9 enter a number okay now here i am going to enter a value which is less than 0 that's minus 9 i have given and press enter the program got exited how it happened if n less than 0 then break that means the program is going to exit if you are giving a value which is less than 0 okay we will try it again with some other value i am giving 0 then also it is getting exited because n not equal to 0 that time it will be continuing now here I am going to run it again and I am going to give a value 9. The number is 9 and again it is asking for another number. I am going to give 8, I am going to give 7, I am going to give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All these values are just taken and it is continuing. Okay, I am going to give another value now that is 11. That means the value is greater than 10. Skip the value. It is not echoing the value. It is skipping the value. And it is asking me to enter one more number. Okay. I am going to give 90. Again it got skipped. 100 getting skipped. 200 getting skipped. Okay. If the value is greater than 10. Then it will be skipped. If it is less than 10 and greater than 0 then the value will be a point and if the value is 0 or less than 0 then it will exit the program the pro program will be exited because the loop will be exited that is the only 
body part of the program once when the loop is exited it will come out of the program okay this program is used to demonstrate the use of break and continue once again okay we have already seen in two separate videos how to use break and how to use continue okay this is another program to explain how to use break and continue okay you please try this program by yourself i suppose this program is simple you please try it out and in case of any doubts or if you feel any modification needed for this program please feel free to contact me this is my email id it underscore teacher one at yahoo.com and thank you for watching the video hope you have enjoyed this thank you and have a nice day